Hello there guys, welcome back to Isaac Football Club, welcome back once again to a brand new one, I hope you are doing alright around the world, video number 2 of the day transfer, it's just getting good, after good man, this one shocked me a lot, I didn't see this coming about Manchester City midfield, Gundgan, Gundgan is fantastic midfield, he plays like a striker man, he score goals, <laughs> <laughs> for fun, going again to Barcelona, man, it's happening. As I said, I didn't see this coming, but transfer window, anything can happen in transfer window. You can see surprises after surprises, shock after shock. Check out this from the Mano himself. Barca President Joan Raporta reaction when asked about likely Gundogan deal. Green light alive a few minutes ago, and here we go confirmed. And they went say, like Rigundigan to Barcelona, here we go, final approval alive on the club side to register him as new signing. Green light from the player, it is done. Deal signed few minutes ago. Gundogan has agreed two year deal varied until June 2025 with option for further year. This one shocked me. This one shocked me. Gundogan to Barcelona. Here we go. It's done. He moved. Wow. Are Manchester City losing good players like this? Gundogan? You know, Arsenal wanted Gundogan. The deal didn't work out. So he chooses to go to Barcelona. Look, Gundogan has won everything at Manchester City. Win winning three trophies in a season. It's crazy. Champions League, Premier League, FA Cup. Crazy. So he's, he's looking at that and thinking i don't think we're gonna do the same thing next season maybe this cannot happen but this is massive for barcelona massive gundogan this player man there's just something special about him and this is the first signing for pep Cardiola at manchester city gundogan and he left the club shocking anyway they are getting mateo covered it in the same position you know what i'm thinking right now if Manchester City thinking to replace Gundogan with Ma uh, Mateo Kovacic Chelsea, I think that's a, not a good deal because Man Mateo Kovacic doesn't score goals like Gundogan. He won't give you goals. Gundogan plays like a striker, scoring like a striker, winning goals like the Premier League, the cha uh, not the Champions League. And there was another Premier League with uh, the winning goal he scored. I think that was the last season and this season, crazy, right? So, when you see all these things, you think about uh, how this player, how good he is, and Manchester City, you think they're going to keep him for one more year or two more years, and he left. He decided to leave. Crazy. Confusing. I'm, co I'm confused why Manchester City did this. Why they let this guy go. Oh, anyway, we'll see next season. We have more news. We have more news about Mason Mount and Manchester United and Chelsea. What's happening? Check out this. Chelsea have rejected Manchester United's second official bid for Mason Mount. It was sent today and rejected after a few hours. Proposal was worth around 50 as called by Devin Onton. Chelsea always wanted more. Manchester United will not pay crazy fee, but talks will continue. This one is tough. This one is tough. Manchester United and Mason Mount, they are fighting, you know, to get Mason Mount out of Chelsea Football Club. But Chelsea want more, want more. And there's 12, uh, what is this? There's 12 months left in his contract, I think, I think. But that's going to be very interesting. This one, I think, is going to go to the deadline. I think Mason Mount, I think he will leave, but... I think it's going to be very close, maybe 260 or 65, somewhere there, because Chelsea, they want 80. They want 80. So Manchester United, they are playing it a little bit, you know. What about this? What about this? Chelsea said no, no, no. So yeah, let's see what's going to happen on that deal about Mason Mount. We got some more Tang 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 news about uh, Tarova Charaba. Tarova Charaba, exclusive from uh, Chelsea Dodgers. Here it is, exclusive 
Chorova Charba in talks with Inter Milan over a loan deal with uh, obligation to buy. Chelsea wants a buyback cranes, which is proving to be stubborn rock at the moment. So Chelsea won the buyback option like we did with Tammy Abraham going to Rome. We have a buyback option. If you want to go buy Tammy Abraham to Rome, there will be no problem. It's just, hey, we did this. We did this uh, last season, we made a deal, so give us Tammy back. <laughs> Same thing, Chelsea trying with Charaba, with Inter Milan, but that seems to be a stubborn broke. Inter want him, but not a buy option. I think it's going to end up not going to Inter. I think he's a still, a, still a good defender, for my understanding, Charaba. I think if we have a coach who can develop him, I think it's Pochettino can develop Charaba. We have seen that. I have seen that a lot in Pochettino. He has that, you know, to develop young players who are bad, become good. So, yeah. So, let's see what's going to happen. Anything can happen in a transfer window. Anything can happen. So, let's just wait and see because there's so much information popping out. You know, area we saw, Mendy, Kuribali, and Kavacic, all those guys, Harvard, leaving... Chelsea Football Club and a lot of people, they are so upset about that. It's so crazy when Chelsea get involved into business, you know. People start talking, people start getting frustrated. Oh no, this has to be investigated. The Premier League has to get involved in this. I'll come to that because there's one person who said that. <laughs> That's one is new. Check out this one again from the Chelsea Dodgers about Hanson Odoi. Hanson Odoi, representative, will meet with Chelsea in the next fortnight with the winger for his future undecided after spending last season on loan at Bayer Leverkusen. This guy can never change. Hanson Odoi can never change. Sell. Full stop. Just sell. The form hasn't improved. He went on loan to Bayer Leverkusen thinking it's going to change, thinking his form is going to go up, up, up down 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 that's what it is it's down 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 at Bayer Leverkusen even the coach doesn't want him <laughs> even the coach says mate you cannot change you you are rubbish you can't we, we can't take you you know go back to Chelsea now Chelsea right now what's the option sell no wasting time just sell sell this one if you bring them in the team players like this they'll just give you trouble they just pull you back and you want to move forward right i'm not saying he's a bad 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 player but right now the standard of chelsea is high right now we're getting rid of players to get new players in so we can start afresh so we can start building the team who are willing to play for the club not like lukaku like you know he doesn't want to come back to chelsea he wants to stay at inter so that we don't want that but it's different about Arsenal Doy. I'm just giving an example about, you know, what's going on at Chelsea and how we're building new structure and new players comes in, all that stuff. But Arsenal Doy, in that building stuff at Chelsea right now, I don't think it's suitable to be in that, you know, environment. Sell. This is what I'm saying. Just sell. Let him go. So that's my option. And that's my thinking about Arsenal Doy. Now, let's go back to this. About Arsenal, one of Arsenal's greatest midfield is going to Saudi Arabia. And I was very surprised when I saw this tweet. I was like, what is Arsenal doing? <laughs> what is Arsenal doing? I would take this guy at Chelsea. 100%. Thomas Partey, I will. I will. Check out this from the Mano, Frobisho. Understood. Saudi clubs are prepared to pay 40 million in installment to. Arsenal for Thomas Partey is contract option for Saudi Arabia. His exit is possible to review on Sunday. No decision yet on the player side. He also has approaches from Europe. No new deal talks at uh, Arsenal. <laughs> Thomas Partey, I think he's great midfield. We saw last season how good he is. He can score. He's the midfield who can shoot and the ball goes in the net. Thomas Partey, I, I don't know why. Arsenal. Maybe they are trying to get rid of him so they can get Deacon Rice from Western. But that one too, that one's so expensive. It's 100. So if they can do that deal, it's up to them. 
it's up to them. But Thomas, Thomas Partey, I would take him as Chelsea, hundred percent. I like the midfield the way he played. I don't know why. Again, Arsenal is getting rid of him. <laughs> but it looks like Saudi. They came in forty. Come, 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 come. You want forty? Give us Thomas Partey. That can happen too. And other European clubs they're interested in Partey. Great midfield, man. Wow. So that is Arsenal. And yeah. Gary Nevis, you know, calling about talking about Chelsea, how the business with Saudi Arabia is going on. It's uh we need to investigate. As I said, I'm gonna come with this guy. Now it's here. Check out this. Gary Nevis has called for the Premier League to put an install hit on pre on transfer to Saudi Arabia and had him in Chelsea potential sales. I do not I do believe at this moment in time, transfers should be heated until you look into the ownership structure at Chelsea and whether there are beneficial transfer dealings that are improper. <laughs> it's always Chelsea. When Chelsea get involved in this, it's Chelsea. No, they shouldn't do that. That's not, that's not acceptable. We need to investigate. The Premier League need to get into that. No, 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 no. It's always Chelsea. And this has been going on forever forever now we are back talking about chelsea other team if they get involved it's quiet just like this chelsea other team quiet just like this chelsea why <laughs> why <laughs> newcastle nobody's talking about that manchester city they started talking about that but they're not talking about it anymore it's quiet right now, it's United. It's, it's about to be bought by Saudi Arabian group. Are they going to start talking about it? We'll see about that. We'll see. But guys, let me know what do you think in the comment down there. Let me know. I will see you soon. Let me know about Gundogan to Barcelona. That one shocked me. That one really, really shocked me, Gundogan to Barcelona, man. I thought City, they're going to keep him. Look what he has done at City. That's incredible. Scoring goals, even if Helen Holland is not scoring, you have Gunnigan, you have Kevin De Bruyne, they will score. No worries. Are they gonna miss Gunnigan? Let me know in the comment. Let's discuss. But this is it from today. Let me know the other thing about Mason Mount, uh, Chelsea um, selling Mason Mount to United is on pause. Uh, discussion continue because Chelsea wants more money. So yeah, we'll see what's gonna happen. I'll see you soon. Have a lovely day wherever you are. And stay safe, Dad. Bless.